Hello. 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 A little bit of a evening modeling that we're gonna do. <laughs> on time. There's no such thing as on time since I do recordings. So you can just watch it after I'm done. Hi! Welcome. Welcome to the to the stream. Okay. Let's see what we uh, let's see what I've done so far and what we need to do from here on out. So, this is our little bunny rabbit that we have. And let's, um, should we do it now? Arctic view will not help. We need to watch it here. And I have finished the main body. Not to say that we're done with the project. That's, we're kind of halfway there. But at least the body is done. Um, there are going to be, actually, let's join this, join this up uh, just to see how it joins. Uh, there are going to be questionable polygons uh, in the seam, along the seam, I guess, such as this one, huh? One, two, three, one, two, yeah, so that can join up. We can't interact as much in the recording. I think I, I replied to most of the most of the comments. But yeah, yeah, it's not an immediate feedback, I guess. Uh, hi, Sebastian. Welcome. I'm just now checking if the polygons, if there are any polygons which are super weird, such as this one, for instance. Everything seems to be kind of good, kind of okay. And that's also a problematic area. Anyway. That's fine. For now, let's just leave it as a... Or, actually, I think we can... We can keep this mirrored. Should we, though? Maybe we should do... Maybe what we should do is reflect. Yeah, I think we should reflect. Oh, hello! Hi. Welcome, welcome. Everyone's that's joining in. I'm just wondering if this should we we should keep this reflected or if we should we should stay working in like one one half of it. I guess uh, we'll see. Uh, for now, let let us reflect it. Reflect. We do this. Hello. No. Sub D. Yes. Uh, start of reflection plane, it's Y axis. And yes, I prefer this to be the, the, the master part. Yep, so now we can work on both of them at the same time. <clears throat> on both sides at the same time. Bunny tail is missing. I do have it here. But the bunny tail is going to be added later, I think. Or actually, I can do it now. Since we have some people. Well, we can do it. I wrote a script. A grasshopper script. And I didn't write it. I, I don't know. I still don't know how to call it. Is it writing a grasshopper script? Or is, is it something else? I made a grasshopper script. Which basically looks like this. And by the end of it. From any input curve. You get... A pipey boy, a pipey output, right? So if you if you draw out some sort of a curve, right? And uh, we just need to make sure that it's not um, self-intersecting. That's one thing. So if you have any kind of a any kind of a curve, and you just 
set one curve. Blop. It just gives you the, the, the output of that same curve falling down uh, on the ground and kind of self self intersecting, becoming a pipe. Cool script, huh? I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. How does it work? Um, yes, I can. I can show it to you, but it's nothing. Nothing too fancy. Like in this cluster right here, I have a kangaroo simulation, which basically makes it so that the the curve falls and also self intersects and or, or not self intersects, self collides and so on. Right, so the guiding curve falls down. Uh, no, I don't. And then we have a second cluster where from that curve we make a bunch of uh, hexagons basically around along that curve. And by playing around with the data tree, we create a mesh. Right, a mesh that looks like so. And then all we need to do by the end of it is... Uh, well, I need to move it just slightly up and create a sub-D mesh from it and that, that's it. Can the pipe collide with another mesh? The pipe... Yeah, yeah, it can, it can. I would just need to add this, uh, an additional goal to the kangaroo simulation part where, you know, um, that the initial curve should collide with an additional mesh but yeah it can all right so that's that's what we have and the things that we can change is the let's say division part length i can do 20. so now you can see this is denser or i can do 60 and now you can see it's less dense i can also do inner diameter 10. So it's a very, very thin boy in the... Um, you can't really see it, can you? Let's do one. Um, let's do two. Yeah, now you can see it. Very little boy here. Um, if we do 40 or 55, then the, you know, the difference between them is not, not so apparent. Uh, what else? the gravity intensity but i i feel like this kind of works for gravity that that's basically it um so now let's let's find something that works uh, i don't remember what i used i think i used like 40 here and the inner diameter wait no was it 40 here no wait if it's 40 here then this is going to be opposite ew no no we don't want it we don't want that to happen. So this does need to be... Let's go for 60. I think that's that's a good thickness to have. Maybe even less, because this is a skinny boy. So maybe 55. Something like that. And then for the smaller ones, uh, we can do 40. Yep, that's, that's about it. Uh, then all we need to do is just bake it in. And that's it. Uh, we have ourselves a little pipe that is going to connect to here. Later. Later. Not now. Not now. And the intersections are not very clean between this. You know, there is a gap here, but I think there, you know... It's acceptable. I think that's that's fine. We going in. And I think EMAP on it looks pretty pretty cool. You know that that's a pretty clean pretty clean topology. Not topology, a curvature. There we go. Okay. 
Um, so that's that. Love your content. What's your opinion on NFTs? Um, I don't have one, honestly. I'm waiting for it to die, not die down, but to for the hype to be over. And then I will uh, actually look into it right now. It's all controlled by hi hype. Uh, so it's very hard to say if the NFTs are, you know, of and gonna be of any use um, in in the long run. Right now, there's a lot of things that are ridiculous about NFTs, in my opinion. Okay, so now it's time to make this a little bit more detailed. Ugh. And I was thinking about it. How the hell do we do that? And I think we do that by um, separating everything into plates. Right? Because this is right now too organic. Especially if I do uh, Arctic View. You know, it's too soft. It's too organi organic. It needs to be sharper. I don't want it to be this soft. Um, so I'm thinking of separating everything into plates and then working on it that way. What I mean by that is, uh, let's say, like that, right? Stuff like that, creating stuff like that. So let's try out a few techniques and see which one sticks. If the first one is going to stick, we're going to use the first one, right? <laughs> but uh, let's let's do this. So the first thing that I wanna wanna check is this area right here. Is it possible to just simply wait? How does it go? Oh, got it. Like that. Like that. And then also this row right here so we have like this this plate right here and i think i will save this as a l1 selection leg one so that if i accidentally unselect it i can always reselect it just by clicking here and what if right now this is gonna look bad but what if i just do this Oh, it doesn't look that bad. Also, what the hell is this? No, 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 no. Th this is bad. Why Why is there a... That's a boo-boo that I made. Um, let's fix it real quick. Insert edge. There needs to be an edge here. And then, of course... These two will need to be stitched together. There we go. Now this is fixed. Actually, we do need to run it through um, edges, uh, edge display or display edges. How is it called? Um, no, 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 not this one. God damn it. Something about edge analysis. Edge, uh, come on, guys, help me out. I I need to 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 see the the, the naked edges in pink. What's the command? I forgot. I should not forget those kind of things, but uh, I keep forgetting them. Um, where is it? Where is it? Hello, ribbon add guide curves. Okay, sure. Tools. Um, there should be analyze, curve, division, show ends, edge tools, show edges. 
Oh, it was just straight up show edges. Okay, so there there is a problem here as well. That's fine, we will fix that. But besides it, I don't see anything else that's messing up. Um, that's good. So we can just zoom into the... or investigate these. And I assume it's going to be just this little point right here. Yeah, it is. Just these two points. Stitch together. Bam. Show edges. Yeah, that's that's fixed. Zoom zoom. Nope. Everything else is fine. Okay, good. So now back to our little plate here. Our little selection for the plate. Now we've added one more ribbon here. Oh, come on. Select. Come on, select. Um, save it as a named selection. Yes. Good. <laughs> Show edges. You already have lag, man. <laughs> You're behind. Keep up. Keep up. We're past the show edges mode. Um, so I'm thinking of extruding everything. Or extracting everything. So if I take this and I say extrude sub D. And I say UVN direction normals. And I give it a... Uh, we need to decide on the number. What if it's one? One is very low. One is very low. It will work, but one is very low. So, okay, we need more than one. Extrude sub D. Oh my God, what the hell is this YouTube tutorial music? Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to extrude sub D edges or sub D faces. Let's go. No. We don't do that. All right. So if one was too too little and by by a large margin. I think 3 is going to be maybe okay let's try three and i will be using emap quite a bit in this um for this and i should probably use maybe not emap even but zebra now zebra doesn't tell me much um let's do emap with uh, some sort of a chrome uh, Chrome material um, arches, for instance. So that plate appears. I think that looks good. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we will use this. Okay. Um, the next thing is let's do. Oh, what are you? Why are you separated? Hello? Is it this one vertice? Yes, it is. Are you one vertice? Yes, you are. So why the hell is this a separate edge? Very strange. Let's delete that and let's fix it. We're going to kind of go slowly through this and, and just see if there are things that we can um, that needs fixing. Uh, so now this seems fine. Let's move on. Um, I need to check what the hell did I model. So this whole thing was uh, was one plate, huh? Yeah, one back plate. Sure. We're gonna have it as one back plate then. I'm not going to argue with past Gediminas. 
if he said that we need a, uh, a single plate here, we will do a single plate here. So now it's selection time. Always fun. Always fun. Okay. Like that. And I'm not sure if I should select this. Uh, we'll see by, I guess, this edge loop right here. Okay, so I shouldn't select that. It's good. Then these three, and then, yeah, the, the boring part. This row, this row, uh, hello? This row, this row, this row. Yep. Yep. Almost there. There we go. I'm starting from the legs because I need to get this down, like get this this idea down before we move on to the helmet, uh, to the to the head. So yeah, 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 yeah. Our second selection, L2. Okay, we have our L2. Um, and we will be also using extrude sub D with um, number three or three millimeters, I guess. Are we in millimeters? We are in millimeters. So we get a little bit of a plating here. Good. Let's move on. I think this will be a nice little plate area right here do i want to keep a seam through the, running through here maybe i do that might look pretty cool or it might look very bad one of the two how's it going it's going well i'm trying out a few little techniques. We'll see if they work out. For instance, here it's a little bit more tricky because I haven't. While well, here I have created the separation loops, pretty proper separation loops, here I don't have them. So we'll need to be a little bit more. Um, how do I say? A little bit more vigilant in, in our approach. Which I think will work out. It's not an alien, man. It's a bunny rabbit. Don't call it that. So is this one plate? I guess it, it it's going to be one plate, huh? And then the second plate kind of slides, the, slides there, which is not that nice. Hmm. Let's try one, one thing that I'm curious about. If I have all of this selected, like that. Or actually, no, no. This is too much of a, like the center, area is too much of a problematic area so i'm go just going to do this and this whole thing is going to be uh one one big happy surface apology accepted um we save the selection as l3 Okay, and for this one we actually will inset, um, set the, uh, yeah, it's, it's gonna be group, 
and the inset distances like this is 0 0.1 0 0.1 is too small uh let's do like one for the inset it's gonna mess up here that's fine as long as it's doing a good job everywhere else okay so the inset was uh, was successful let's see if the inset messed up our selection it didn't congratulations rhino developers you did a really well really really good job with this um extrude sub d um re again thickened boy tab yeah now we have a little bit more more definition going on here uh double check it with arctic a little bit soft but we will fix the soft part actually we should fix it now huh okay last last thing to to do it's going to be uh i think it's gonna be like one or three either one or three more subdivisions point yeah i think three or one no let's do one if we do three, that's going to take too long. I don't want you guys to wait that long. So we're doing three instead. And Gumball is... Com I'm, I'm not using Gumball at all here. So I'm just disabling it. All together. Okay. Like that. You go here. We select these. Okay. All of this is selected. Save it as L4. Great. L4 is saved. And then we do our wonderful um, inset with one extrude sub D with uh, three. And that's that. We have done the plating, well, the initial phase of the plating for the leg. There's like a pre precision incisions here, there's more loose incisions here. Yeah, that's good. I think that's good. Okay, let's go back. Now let's make it more sharp. I think all we need to do is just get the selection and inset everything by 0 0.5. Let's see by half. Let's see how that is going to react. Yeah, that, that gets pretty sharp. That does get pretty sharp. So we can do this on a sub subdivided model just to see the result immediately for instance here right bam immediately gets sharpened up nice okay we have that so i like to call this protecting our borders right and then for instance if i want this to be well this is already a sharp boy but if i want it to be even sharper i can select these um edges like the extruded edges right here and i can just hit them with a with a quick bevel um can i write the, the 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 value for the bevel 0 0.5 enter yeah i can so you now can see this could be a new evangelion <laughs> the bunny <laughs> the bunny angel angel 14 <laughs> Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, that's a no. That's a no. 
same thing here if i want this to be for instance this edge to be sharper i can bevel it um for some reason it didn't 0 0.5 there we go and i just click create a, a pretty sharp corner there this does tend to create a little bit of a shading issue because I'm sharpening it, sharpening it too much. So I wonder if we want to do that. Well, definitely not in these areas, huh? But perhaps here, perhaps here it makes sense. So let's try here. Let's see how this will react. Okay. That works quite well. A little bit worse than I hoped for, but quite well. So let's see if we can do if we can get away with this by doing it on multiple of these like that that also here also here uh where else well for now let's just use this area to test out bevel one tab oh my god this music today is just killing me no what am i even listening to wait let's let's check let's do whatever this is okay back to arctic okay why change it i think it needs a little bit more of a angular um aesthetic because, you know, it, it was like this, you know, blob, 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 blob everywhere. I think this is a little bit more pronounced, a little bit nicer. So I want to have it like that. While here, it can keep the, 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 the you know, this kind of seamless aesthetic. But for instance, this, uh, this corner right there, I want to add a bevel. something like that arctic tab just to get it sharper like this right this looks in my opinion better than this so that's why not all the edges if i wanted to bevel all the edges um then i would need to then I would just do it with Grasshopper. I'm not doing it with Grasshopper because I don't want to bevel all edges. I want to only bevel the selected edges. This is where you can't really automate this because I'm kind of by myself evaluating which edges are worth to be beveled. For instance, I think this one I might be wrong, but I think this one, as well as here, here, probably here, and these. Maybe you could automate it along some sort of an angle thing. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Okay, that's enough. Bevel. 2.7. Oh, 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 that's bad. We'll need to look into that. 
that shits the bed that also shits the bed does anything else shit the bed nothing else seems to be shitting the bed so it's only here and why does this shit the bed that's because there's so much tension in this in this little point here huh um i think we can mitigate it by doing something like this we delete all of that nonsense we select these we select these and we will bridge uh that's even worse that's even worse Shit! No! Help! No! Why? Do we need a second protection? Like a second inset? I think we do. Let's see if that's gonna help us. So if this gets a second inset of uh, one or, or even two, like that, Oh my god, help. No. No. Make it stop, no. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay. So we can't bevel certain areas. Good to know. We'll do it one by one then. I wonder why. I I, I guess I know. Like it, it it bends onto itself because it's like a negative. Oh, you can't bevel negative corners too much. Unless... Unless... We go crazy with this. So we take this whole thing. We bevel this whole damn thing. Um, 0 0.7. Like that. It immediately shits the bed here. That's fine. That's expected. That's what I wanted to happen. We get rid of that. And get rid of that. Okay. And get rid of the Oh, there's so, so much stuff to get rid of. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Um, we do this. Bridge. Give me one segment. Take this segment, slide this segment to meet with here, but it's not it's not absolute, it's proportional. Like that, okay. So this is fine, this is fine, everything is under control. Bridge this. No, not like that. One segment, like that, that's good. Still under control. And then, 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 this gets bridged like that, and this, nope, yep, doesn't get bridged. This needs to get three, a 3D face. What is this plugin? What plugin? There are no plugins. Oh yeah. I think we got it, boys. And girls. And girls. Pitch uh, to average point. Back to shade it. <laughs> I'm a freaking topology master.
there's no one who does it better. Okay, so we have that. Sharp, sharp. Sharp, 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 sharp. Um, a little bit messy. Ain't gonna lie. Bevel. Will make it less messy. Because it's going to... Um, actually... Why not just do this? Like that. And bevel this hole. This whole part right here. Hell yeah. Bro, you're insane. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. I try. I try. Okay. Robots, robots, robots. Evangelion robots. Evangelion bunny rabbits. Um, I assume if we try to do something um, something fishy here, um, it's going to complain again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it just the mesh breaks breaks here, so we can't really do that. But what we add? Don't, 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 just don't. But we what we can do is make a hole there. Just because we can. And bevel now. Like that. And then figure out how to fix the hole. I guess just by simply just adding quad into a triangle, huh? Tab. Clean. 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 Okay. Then these three are not going to... Actually, the reflection is bugging me. Um, reflect, you, uh, remove. Oh, wait. So we just keep... Uh, can I just remove the, ref the reflection and not have the mesh? Oh my god, okay. Let's, let's delete half of it. Bam. 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 Wait, that's the half. Kablamo. And all you need to do is just um, spend a few hours modeling it and then you have a toy for life. Just working on the sub D forever and ever the rest of your days. Bum, 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 bum. Apply some grasshopper scripts. I showed one. Were you not here? Where were you if you were not here? While well, I was showing my beautiful grasshopper script, should I show it again? This. A grasshopper script that takes a curve and then shits out the pipe. So we did it. Uh, later we're going to connect the pipe to, to this bad boy because I need it for symmetry. Uh, for symmetry, for balance. I need it for balance. There's no way that the figurine could stand on these things. So I need 
something to, to hold it. And it's going to be this pipe boy. That's gonna be later. Right now we're working on the leg. Successfully, I might add. Because it's starting to actually look like a proper design. Oh, you, you, and also... Wait, actually, I think that if we do this... 0 0.7. Yeah, that only creates one triangle here. Yeah, hell yeah. So that's fixed. Then this rounding needs to be... Please remember 0 0.7. Can someone write to to the? Oh yes, there's there's a bunch of yeses. Okay, I'll, I'll show the grasshopper script in a, in a second. Can someone write to the McNeil forum that uh, the, the the bevel in sub D doesn't remember um, the last input, the last numerical input, and Ask it if it's a feature or a bug. See? I press enter, it doesn't re remember. That's bad. That's a bad juju. Okay. For this, we will need to actually... Do it this way. So any negative corner needs special treatment. That's fine. We will give it special treatment. And that is the special treatment that we gave it. Whoop whoop. Okay. I think the leg has enough detail. Uh... The longer I look at it, the, the more stuff I see that I forgot to add. <laughs> okay, this is better. Yeah, this looks... this looks fine, right? This looks a-okay. Okay. The leg has enough detail for this stage of the detailing process. We can move on uh, to... Yeah, this is also a leg. What am I saying? So we just move up one, one area. The hell are these copies though? Hell is going on? Okay, all of our all of our selections are messed up now. Um, that's normal. I, I expected them to mess up quite quite a bit, and much earlier. So it's amazing that they kept. Okay, um, let's check. Okay, so this is gonna be an an easy one because here all I need to do is just get the 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 the. the kneecap plate and extrude it i wish there was some sort of a grow selection tool maybe there is i never tried at least the double clicking works to to select rows okay so that's our kneecap And our kneecap will get extruded first uh, by three, then gets selected and gets inset as a group by one. I think it's one. That's correct. And it's uh, very, very interesting here. Maybe that's that's not 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 an issue. We'll see if it's an issue or not. 
but for now uh, let's let's keep it as it is we'll sharpen up the, the the corners later then i kinda want okay let's think so this looks like a nice seam to divide on like this bad boy right here so we can divide it here then we will have this whole whole shebang which also needs to be divided hmm do we do it one by one how many hours of modeling have you put in so far uh No, that, that would be a lie. 12. That is closer to the truth. 12. I would say 12 more and we will be done. That is also a lie. It's not... Uh, 16 more? No. 12. Depends on how, how how much I talk and how much I model. <laughs> Ooh, we can do ass cheeks, right? Maybe we shouldn't, but we should. Maybe we shouldn't, but I think we should. Okay, so... Before we do the ass cheeks, let's do... This area. Because I think this, this plate is definitely gonna be... Gonna be happening either way. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna save it. L2. Oh, which reminds me, I'm gonna save the whole damn model. Sub D is never done. It's we're, we're gonna we're gonna keep keep polishing this. I'm gonna create a house for this bunny rabbit to live in. Uh, it's gonna have a wife and kids, and I'm gonna model those out. It's gonna have a job and a car. Uh, Rhino, hello. Don't I, I'm gonna freak out. Don't okay. I thought Rhino crashed for a second. Ah, uh, that, that was... That was a bit scary. Okay. So here, 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 here. Um, I kind of want to do um, an inset first. And then an extrusion. Extrusion just simply didn't work. Someone write to the McNeil forums that extrusion doesn't remember the last numeric input that you used and when you press enter it just turns itself off. That's also either a bug or a feature. I would call it a bug, they might call it a feature. We disagree. Um, three. Okay, now it worked. We have ourselves a little bit of a plate situation going on. Um, let's see if the selection works. It still does work. Uh, then the inset should work as well. Again, mode group. Inset does remember the last numeric input. Inconsistencies. Hello, Rhino developers. Um, okay, so we have a little bit of a plate situation going on there. This is where it gets tricky, because I wonder how to model the, 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 the S. Do we just deal with it as if it's... Uh, maybe we just model it, 
like we, we deal with half of it we reflect it and then we will figure it out you know yeah yeah let's do it that way that's that's the game plan at least okay so with that said what is the inset for um, 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 um uh let's let's do a quick little tutorial-esque thingy box sub d box when you have a sub d box like that it gets rounded right that's because it's, it gets subdivided so what to do when you don't want the edges to be so rounded as they are right now one thing is to add loops that are actually oh, come on gumball uh, add loops that are actually closer to the edges like that and then you can see this gets less rounded this gets more rounded right because it basically subdivides this area it smooths out this area more because it has more meat to work with or more area to work with uh, it's it works like almost like catmull clark subdivision right so if i move it to the to this area you can see that the the, the central loop this gets sharper right so how do we do that for you know one certain area if i select all of this or if i select all of these edges i can do i can do a bevel not that big of a bevel come on come on don't 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 a small don't don't snap don't don't god damn it I'm gonna scream there we go a bevel right uh, very pleasant to use uh, tool and you can see that now the top is sharper because we are basically creating two edges but the problem is that now neither one of these two edges are where our initial edge was right they both are moved away from the starting position right it's like a chamfer right so that's a no-no um, I don't like doing that. Instead, I like to protect my borders by doing inset. Like that. So it, you take a group of polygons and you inset them inwards and it does create a second perimeter. So now your initial perimeter stays, but you're creating a new one inside of the old one. And thus, you are protecting the border. And if you do the same thing for here, now you're successfully protecting two borders. And see how this little guy here gets so sharp? That's how we do it. Right? And that's why I do it the way I do it. Only that I do it on a bunny rabbit. Right. <laughs> So, so I forgot what I was doing. Oh yeah, the ass. Yeah, yeah, we're we're doing the ass. Oh wait, am I super loud? Hello? 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 Is this super loud? Because I, I think my microphone is going into the red. Just tell me if, if, if I need to tone down the, the, the microphone. If it's clipping or if it's picking up some sort of a noise. I can do that quite easily. Um, right. Let's do this instead. Because I still haven't made a decision on the, on the ass uh, part. It's good. Good. Then, 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 it's good that it's good. Like that. And I think we, what, what we'll do is we'll take all of this in. Yeah, hell yeah. The arm is in the way, that's fine. Um, actually. Hmm. 
That's tricky. I kind of want it to be... Nah, nah, never mind. That's fine. We're gonna have it like that. And that is going to be our, uh, our selection. Because then here we can have a second plate. That's gonna do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you're good? Okay. Coolio. Wait, daddy's thinking. Mm, yeah, this, this should work. This should work. If it's not gonna work, then you will... Then I'll explain it why it didn't work and I what I'm talking about. But if it's gonna work, it's just, yeah, all expected. <laughs> right? I'm a professional here. A little professional. Inset. Um, by one. Like that. Extrude sub D by three. Like that. Reselect. No, this one. Inset again. As a group. By one. Like that. Tab it. Plate. Done. Perfect. Then we will have a break here. Not a stream break, but just a break here. And I'm thinking of doing it... Yeah, this might work. Uh, but then this area right here is a little bit nonsensical. So maybe let's do it like that. Here. Um, do we break it open in the back? I think it's nice. It's like gonna be like stockings. Like I see him in the stockings. I think that's cool. So let's do it that way. Bam. And uh, do we need more? Yep, we do need more. Like that. Now the question is, do we do a thick um, seam on the outside or a thin one? I kind of want to do a thick seam. But then it will mean that the thick seam will go on until till here, which is bad. So we can't do a thick seam, unfortunately. Maybe I'll come back here and re- shit. And now what do we do? Can I select previous selection? No. Mm. Why do you hurt me like so, Rhino? So apparently previous selection doesn't doesn't work with um, doesn't work with what I wanted to do. Okay. That's fine. We do it again. Like that, that select all of this nonsense. Um, don't remember if we need to select this. I guess we do. Yes, we do. Then go until here and finish off the loop here. Or was it here? No, it was here, wasn't it? Yeah. No, 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 no. Don't accidentally. Okay. Um, By the way, Rhino is not a good mesh modeler. Did you know that? I sure did, and still decided that I'm gonna do this. Why? Why would I do that? Okay, so we have this selection. That's gonna be our L3. L3 already exists, so that's going to be our L4 selection. You know the drill. Inset. Let's extrude sub D with 3. Select the L4. Inset it again to give it a little bit more um, edge protection. Tab it to check. Go to Arctic. Yep. That's definitely a plate. 
And the nice thing about it is that it's still going to be a single closed sub D, right? Single closed mesh if you want to 3D print it. And we will be 3D printing it. I have a 3D printer ready on my desk. But it's not going to be today. It's going to be over the weekend probably if we finish it in time. So this is going to be easy. Famous last words. Morgan Freeman steps in, narrates that it wasn't easy. Maybe this will work. Sure seems like it's gonna work. L5. Inset. Extrude sub D. 3. Select L5. Inset again. As a group. Yes. Tab it. Arctic view it. Disgusting, but uh, kind of works. Okay, that's good. That's good. We, we, we do have... With the same printer, uh, probably, um, I, I don't know, um, I'm, I'm thinking of maybe printing out like a, if we print it with an FDM printer, this little guy will need to be pretty damn big. I can do that. Like, by big I mean like 40 centimeters or maybe more. I can do that. It's gonna take a long time though, but I can do that. Um, or we can do an SLA 3D print. Which will make this guy pretty small. And it's gonna take less time. But the problem with that is, if, if you guys have SLA 3D printers, you will know. Um, the struggle. I left my resin in the SLA printer untouched for half a year. So now I'm afraid of uh, kind of opening it up, uh, opening it up and uh, seeing how the resin looks like inside of it. Because I think you should not leave resin in the printer bath untouched for half a year. So we might be a little bit, um, yeah, we might have a little bit of a of a problem there. Uh, I might need to order a new resin filter, not filter, the, the the plastic thing that goes underneath the resin bath. We'll see. Um, if the resin printer is bricked, then we will just print it with the FDM. I do want to print something uh, over the weekend, and I will stream, by the way. By the way, I'll stream. Did you know that I'll stream? I will stream. Um, so you will be able to join in and, and, and see me struggling, trying to print something that I wasn't prepared to, to print. What do we do with the with this area, with the crotch area. I do need to reflect it, don't I? Or maybe I just need to mirror it like that. I won't even reflect it. I'll, I'll just straight up mirror it. It's not mirroring. Join, hello. Two sub Ds were not joined, why? What did I do? Why can't you join them? Mirror. I'm afraid. Uh, I probably messed something up. The seam is perfect. Join. We're not joined. Uh, help. Explain. Is there like one, one, one area where, where they can't be joined? Am I losing my mind? Okay, uh, instead we do reflect. Y-axis, yes. Remove, 
uh, or, or reflect again and we just remove the reflection symmetry that worked sure 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 okay um as part as part okay so for the s uh that's gonna be so the reason why i'm doing this oh that's a weird weird little selection there why i'm doing it here with a reflected model is because i want the seam to be correct so i kind of need to do it this way it's not that i want to okay let's do s s s like that i think my all of my selections are, are messed up then right i think they are at least they should be okay that is good and then And then that can become a seam, right? Because then we will have like a, like this going on until here and the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's our the ass. Let's make the dumpy thick, as they say, uh, as the youth says, right? Um, selection as perfect uh, inset by one extrude sub D. Um, by three yep made it thicker nice um inset again by one great tab it yeah that's all i wanted just a little bit of, of pronunciation around here that's great and now we can move on to to this area As you can call it the crotch area um and for it it's gonna be a little bit more tricky because i think okay maybe it's not gonna be tricky because you just need that and you just need that that's like one one belt and then there's gonna be a second one that will go all the way around yeah 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 so that's not gonna be a problem um belt one save inset group mode one um extrude sub d um three belt one again the extrusion is really bad though let's undo the extrusion let's see what's what's wrong oh the angle is super super low okay so we can't do that what can we do we can still extrude it that's fine extrude sub d but we can't do three we need to do like one like a very thin one because of the of this intersection then select it again inset again by one sure so we still have pronunciation there but uh, it's not as intense and then we need to i need this jesus christ give me give me give me i need this to be a little bit thicker so i'm just going to take the belt part just going to move it out by like four like that Let's do two more. Two. That's it. That's it. We have like a much stronger extrusion in the back now and much weaker one in the in the front now. That works. 
Okay. Connection there. Connection there. There. Punk, 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 punk. Perfect. Then here we will have a separation. So it just goes all the way around in one polygon ribbon. Perfect. Like that, like that. And that is our belt too. Uh, fun to watch? The 3D part? Yep. We'll do. Uh, 3D printing part, I mean. We will do that. Saturday, probably. No, Sunday. No, Saturday. Uh, maybe both. Maybe Saturday and Sunday. Depends on how much energy I'll have. Uh, inset. Group. One. Extrude. Extrude sub D. Three. B2 again. Inset. By one. Tab. Fixed. Solved. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Arctic. Okay. The separation is starting to look pretty nice. There's, uh, we'll still need to, to work on, on it a little bit. There's gonna need to be uh, probably secondary separation, or maybe we're gonna do that with some sort of a texture. But this is starting to look like, you know, it's it's manufactured rather than grown. So I'm, I'm, I'm liking it. Whew. Okay. Continue. Let's continue. Let's do the back. Yeah, let's do the back. The back is gonna be interesting. So there's going to be... A very weird area here that we'll need to work on. So this and everything that surrounds it will need to be two separate plates. Oh, that's gonna be tricky. And then this will need to be a plate in its own. God damn it. Okay. Um, let's start from the center and move out. So this is a no-brainer. This is gonna be easy. I think. That, that, then you here you have a ribbon. Then that. Yeah, I, I think that, that's gonna trade up work. Group one. B3. Um, actually, maybe this B3 needs to be extruded just straight out? No, no it shouldn't. It should be extruded properly. Like that. Yeah, it needs to be extruded like that. Will macros for extrude and inset process work for sub D? I don't know. <clears throat> Macros? We ain't using any macros here. I don't know how to use macros, honestly. Never used them. Probably should. Probably should. But never did. Okay, so this is actually an interesting one. Like that. And then, plop here, 
and continue on <clears throat> like that yeah that's that's gonna work that's gonna be sweet wait why is this like three polygons and this oh this is also three never mind answered my own question perfect that's gonna be our little b4 How do you do macros? I guess I just replaced macros with um, grasshopper, right? Oh, that's a nice bend. I like the bend, even though it, you know, it's it's unrealistic. I do like it. I get drained for two days after doing a basic sub. That's rookie numbers. Do a month. Work on something for a month. Then, when you need to do something for uh, for a few days, it's gonna be easy. You're just gonna blast through it like it's nothing. The belly button will need some love, but I'll, I'll come back to the belly button later. Because I really want this to be like a pretty damn negative space. <clears throat> so maybe we'll, we'll do something like that to it. Yeah. Not like that, but something. <clears throat> oh, my voice is going. That's, that's too early for, for the voice to go. Very strange. Um this this needs separation and also this will need separation of course but this needs separation first and foremost um yep and i think this one definitely we can just extrude it um and I think we can just do something like that to it. Um, that looks bad. But maybe it's going to look not as bad once we give it a little bit more love. Or we can do, can do this. And then it's going to look less bad. Also this. Like that. For now, that's that's gonna be fine. We'll make things nicer, uh, little by little. For now, it's just, you know, proof of concept. Oh, the rest here needs needs. Um, inset group one. Extrude sub D also one actually, not not three. Inset again, group one done. Just a little detail there. Wobble wobble. Okay. So we have a little bit of separation here, but we definitely need more. Um, now I guess it's time for the rib. For the actual rib to happen. So this happens first. Yeah, this needs to happen first. So we do... What do we do? What do we do? Maybe this can go in. Maybe this can go in. 
it would make no sense that it goes in, but it maybe maybe it's gonna look cool. Let's see. Inset. Um, yeah, like that. Um, then, 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 then. Save the selection. V5. Extrude sub D. Uh, minus three, please. Like that. Yeah, we, we're basically making a banana here, but uh, that's that's okay. The banana is gonna get sharper once we bevel some edges. Um, so that we are okay with that. How does this look like? Okay, that's that's actually fine. Actually fine. We can work with this uh, because now for for this area. For an area right here that goes until here, it should go all the way through until it meets here, shouldn't it? Or maybe even even further. Oh, it can go until here. Yeah, let's 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 have it go until there, like that. It's a little bit much. It's a little bit too complex of a plate. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to separate it like that. That is going to be one plate. V6. Okay. I'm going to push those numbers. Yeah, push those numbers up. With any kind of 3D modeling, you need pretty pretty intense numbers for it to look good. Or else, you know. I get so many students that, that come in and go like, uh, why why does uh, my my project or my house, my building looks look look so bad, right? And I, I always can see that it's literally it it was done in like five hours. This, then there's the answer. And if the, the, the counter argument to this is, well, five hours for maybe for me, but for a student, it might take longer Then my my counter counter argument to that is just get good. Get good, lol. Okay, this is going to be B7. Group. In a distance or distance base point, one. Uh, um, um, um. Yes. As you can see, I'm starting to lose my mind a little bit, but that's fine. That's fine. This is not going to be a long stream. I'm going to have it pretty... We're going to end it pretty quickly. <clears throat> longest project, 18 days, 10 hours per day. But that's the longest project, so that's a pretty... Almost three weeks, huh? Depends on what kind uh, what kind of project it was. So all of this crap will need to be, of course, fixed, right? We we can't have bananas going on uh, everywhere. But that's uh, fortunately that's fixable quite quite easily. Actually, I want to keep one area here untouched. I think that's going to look pretty cool. So we're doing that. We're going to be doing that. And instead here. Oh, wait, did I? Oh, crap. Oh, no. 
I forgot to insert here. How do you fix this? Oh no. Do I really need to model it? I don't wanna model it. Fine, we're gonna model it. Jesus Christ. Makes me work. I hate working. I like when things go fast. Okay, so first we fix that. Then we do what do we do then then we do a bridge here bridge with three segments then we take this segment and we slide this bad boy to fit here that is not how you do it slide to fit here close enough good enough then you slide this to fit here that's also good enough then you cry because you forgot that area but um, is this a tutorial? I don't know. Is it? So, um, what else? What else can we do with this to make it actually work? Um, oh, so if it's e earphones, then 18 days is, is a lot. That's cool. Kudos. Kudos to you. Uh, for 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 doing it for so long I'm actually going to I'm thinking of screaming a little bit, but maybe I will not uh, we'll see But I really want to but maybe we will not we'll we'll, we'll see I kind of want to though Just a, just a little bit, you know just a tiny bit Will this work? Will I persuade? Yep, 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 that works. Uh, so now it's only these guys that need some love. Okay, that, that worked. Um, the hell is going on here? Um, are you done? Yep. Nice. And that is how you do a bevel or whatever this was. No, an insert manually. Never again. Always check what, what you are selecting so you don't need to do this. Okay, so now this is a little bit of a strange area to work on. So I'm thinking... Maybe we do this, come on, like that. Because then we can do that area as one. And then we will be left with this. Okay, uh, let's do it this way. Um, B8, we're blasting through this like it's nothing. Inset uh, one. Where were we? We talked about how long things take. Architecture takes a very, very long time to do. Architectural design. Uh, I mean, from start to finish. The initial in the architectural design is pretty fast, but but from start to finish to actually make the the, the full design takes a long time. Um, so you get used to 
working on you know a single project for it all depends on the project but uh, if, if if it's some sort of a large office building you know two years eight hours a day every day because if you work on it for more than eight hours um for longer than you know half a year you're just gonna get, go crazy if it's a family house the uh, house it's gonna be like nine months eh, less half a year because by the end of it you're not really designing you're just waiting for the builders to to do their job okay so we have that now this selection is gonna be funky so we have this we go until here damn i made a lot of triangles in this area but that's okay b9 inset this one can be i think let's undo I, I really want to inset it with like three like uh, give it a heavy inset but I'm afraid that the seams are not gonna match up so maybe we do do a inset of one like that yeah oh come on three yeah uh. what is this intersection what am i looking at no 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 uh, no 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 uh where where are we hello where are we uh ghosted rendered we need ghosted there we go this 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 edge this edge this edge i can't select it but i can see it i can see you you will not be able to hide from me for long I will select you somehow from the inside. <laughs> there we go. This edge. Go back in here. So you should not intersect with the neighbors. Go back. Just do that. Perfect. Uh, everything else seems to be clean good back to b9 inset group one perfect okay we have a bunch of bananas now we have a bunch of bananas Do we make the bananas look good or do we keep on going and making more bananas around here? Uh, let's reflect this to just see how it's going to look like. Yeah, that's that's good. That, that seems good. Well, of course, it needs to sharp to be sharpened up, but that kind of stair stepping, I think, is kind of cool. Uh, let's make it nice. Uh, let's, yeah, let's make it nice. I think making it nice will uh, will just keep me motivated, honestly. <laughs> um, so let's do a few bevels here, just to see how they help like that that's perfect then you sir as well as you sir need to get beveled oh yeah forgot bevel doesn't remember the 0 0.7 input that we did okay so that is immediately nicer yeah hell yeah Okay, that's good. Like the, the topology is messing up with every bevel that I do. No, no Christmas music, go away. Uh, the, the 
topology is messing up with every bevel that I do and that's sad and that makes me sad. But at the same time it looks better and better. Which makes me happy. And it's uh, I think it's a balance between being sad and happy when you're working with sub D. And as long as you're more happy than you are sad, you continue. You continue. For instance here, I know for a fact that it's going to completely destroy my topology if I do this. Oh, and also it's going to destroy everything else as well. Ugh. Disgusting. Okay, let's see if beveling this will help. Ooh! Another bug. Another rhino bug. See how it breaks apart? That should never happen in a closed uh, closed geometry. <clears throat> so we're, we're finding bugs left and right. Let's see. Maybe we don't need this, but if we bevel it a little bit more here, for some reason that decides that this is like... Um, this pentagon is actually a quad. We no, we don't do that. We bridge from here to here. Hi Mark. Welcome to the little little stream. This one is a short one. I, it, it's not gonna be like a seven hour stream. I had a, a long ass week. I want to relax. Okay. Is there like a way of how I can mesh this nice uh, more nicely because this is not this does not look good. Is it under mesh settings? Uh display settings? Display properties, I mean. Shaded settings? Um probably not. Is it under mesh? It is. Smooth and faster. That changed nothing. Have a stomach. Options mesh. Uh, yeah, so that's where we are, right? Options. Um, options mesh. Um, custom. Uh, density higher. No. Details. Uh, minimum initial grid quads. A hundred. Uh, don't refine mesh. Level. Nothing changes. Hit OK. Still nothing changes. OK, cool. Uh, density. Oh, here I can change the density, right? Did it always have this option? OK. That doesn't do anything. Because that's NURBS meshing parameters. This is sub D meshing parameters for ray tracing, but not for. Oh. It's sub D meshing parameters for ray tracing. And not for the 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 the, the thing that I'm thinking about and that you definitely know. Not the viewport display. So how do we increase? the sub D preview quality in the viewports, not in the ray tracing. Because this is for NURBS and this is for sub D. We don't, I guess, do we? Feels like we don't. Um, is it, could it be under OpenGL? No, that's just tessellation and that's maxed out under shading. Under objects, under sub D, there's nothing here. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at view options, but this is all just colors. Colors, colors, col colors. Oh, 
Oh my god, locked objects draw objects behind all others? We need to check this out. So we can't do anything about the sub D not looking great in the preview. That's fine. Uh, we will not never look at it so close up. Also, when it's rendered, it's, it's gonna it's gonna look fine. Uh, but this uh, draw objects behind all others when they are locked. Let's investigate. So if I do this, this is currently unlocked lock hell yeah it's behind my sub d form where the hell were you when i oh my god unlock where the hell were you when i needed you okay these are the viewport i did the mesh options as well I did the mesh options as well. Uh, it didn't work. Anyway, that's fine. We don't really need it to be that... Precise. Kinda wish it was. That's... Uh, it's. Is it... No, we do do we want it soft we don't do we no we don't oh and this needs to to be beveled as well like that hell yeah Okay, so that's looking better, that's looking better, that's looking better, that's not looking better. <clears throat> now that's looking better. Oh these do these two bad boys right here need some need some attention. Okay, that's better then you sir need to be need to behave oh and while behaving you also need to actually <clears throat> not not look like complete garbage Okay, that's that's fine. I, I'll I'll get back to you. I saw you. I'll get back to you in a second. So if I want to bevel these three little guys here, I can do this. I think. Like that. Does that make any endgons? Doesn't seem like it does. Yeah, okay, so now it, it behaves properly. And then this is rounded and it needs to be rounded. Or does it? No, it does, it does. Okay, so that's all sharpened up. You look tired. You look tired. I'm not tired. I'm energetic. Your face looks tired. No, I'm, 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 I'm kidding. I'm, I'm kidding. Um, any tips for concentrating longer than eight hours a day? Cocaine, of course. Crack cocaine. Insane amounts of crack cocaine. All day, every day, constantly. You wake up. You brush your teeth. Guess with what you're brushing your teeth with? Yep, crack cocaine. I can't select that edge. <laughs> um, work on something you like. 
if you work on something you like you can concentrate on it for a, for a very long time if it's something that is it's boring uh then make um small breaks where you will concentrate on something that you like right so so you work uh, you know you do your accounting for uh, three hours then you do uh, a cool 3d model for 20 minutes or 15 minutes and then you continue on with the accounting right and then keep keep going okay so this is gonna be a very weird one but it's a necessary one because that's going to give us a little bit of a definition here that we really need <clears throat> also watch my videos yes yes uh god damn i i should I, sh I should be more of a salesperson um my videos help you concentrate all the time like uh you you can go for 24 hours if you just watch my videos on the second screen just have them open without any ad block ad block like it blocks the positive energy that goes from the videos so make sure that any ad blocker is turned off um yeah and then then you will be able to work for uh yeah a, a long long time I really want to... Okay, I want to bevel this. But it's going to mess up so many things. But I really want to bevel this. Okay, let's... Let's see if this is gonna... Oh my god, it's it's breaking everything. Isn't it? How do we make it break everything less? We can't. So we kind of need to stick with this stretching situation here. Fine. 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 Okay, let's let's fix that. This is very easily fixable. Camera zooming almost works. That's nice. Bevel this. Tab it. That's better. Um, no one's gonna look at this area, but just for the sake of, of, of being, you know, a completionist. Let's bevel it. That, that, that. Or one two three four bevel 0 0.7 um nom, 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 nom. we messed it up we messed it up abort abort this needs to move down like that while this only this area and also this point needs to do something that will intersect less oh no 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 we don't rotate things is it still fine it is still fine okay that's good crush crotch saved <clears throat> have you considered being a teaching faculty for design morphine no no definitely not why would i um yeah and video is healed from 5 5g uh two that 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 is actually true facts yes absolutely okay so what do we have here here we have kind of a soft transition the fuck is going on here 
Oh, it bends like a... Oh, hmm, that's not good. We don't want it to bend that way. But at the same time, we can't really make it not bend that way. So we're kind of stuck with this being like a... Yeah, that's fine. Fine. No one will ever know. Let's instead fix it here. One, two... Nope. Two, three, four. If you chamfer <clears throat> four edges that go into one edge, into one point, like that, I think in the middle you'll get a quad. And by chamfer I mean bevel. Yes, you do get a quad in the middle, that's nice, and you get a pretty nice sharp connection here. That's also nice. Nice. Okay, what about this? This is very straightforward, isn't it? We just do that. Oh. And by straightforward, I mean we just break break it completely. Um, damn. Okay. Uh, so it's not that straightforward. We need to... Maybe this is gonna be enough. Like that. Mm. That's some bad bending that's going on there. Ain't gonna lie. Would really like this to... Also chamfer together... Uh, bevel together with them. Maybe we can do a smaller bevel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I have an idea. Bevel 0 0.5. Like that. Tab. Perfect. Uh, not perfect. Messes up here because it makes a triangle here. Shit. Okay. Um... So that means I do need to go all the way around, like so. And do a 0 0.5 bevel on all of this. And then somehow deal with this freaking triangle that we get now. Or maybe no, maybe not. It makes a nice, pretty nice little... Okay, emap. Time to check it with an e-map. So it does make that, that ridge. Where is it? There it is. Can kinda... <sighs> arm. Get out of the way, arm. Yeah, there we go. There's the ridge. It makes that ridge there. But I think the ridge is fine. Yeah, I think that's fine. So we can have a triangle there, actually. Pretty disgusting to have it there, but... Better than bending onto itself, right? Um, we, we keep it. We, we, we keep those. We, we keep those. What else? What else is there? Um, this little bend... First, let's work on this little bend. And then we'll figure out the next one. Nice zoom selected, by the way. This is me selecting this edge. So I have this edge selected, right? And I type in ZS to zoom selected. Yeah. Random position on the screen. Rhino developers! Come on. There is no way that this is hard to fix. Probably. Probably is. Okay, now this looks good. Like, the bend is disgusting, but I think... Honestly, one thing that I kind of want to do... We're going to do it later. But there is going to be, like, an incision happening here. Maybe we can do it now. 
let's do it now uh, like that whoop, whoop, all the way until actually until here like that and then we need to figure out what the hell is it that we're looking at here so there is going to be an edge there no you're not an edge you are not the edge that i want you are not the edge that i want you are the edge that i want okay good zoom selected will not work i will not even try it so we do that instead manually slowly we select this edge slowly and then we select this edge slowly and then we bevel uh, 0 0.7 in this case because it should fit yeah, it kind of fits and then we have a very sharp going on which trans transfers into a soft transition here hell's yeah okay so we have that fixed double check with uh, arctic view to see if the banana is gone yes this banana is indeed gone we are successful in removing the banana uh, then we need to work on here because you know does look good but for that i want to take a break i want a break do you guys want a break no you don't why would you you're not working it's me working so let's do um five minutes and uh i'll come back and we're gonna make this guy pretty um let's do this and let's do like that and let's do tab and let's do emap and let's um let's look at it in a rendered view no arctic view and the arctic view should not show curves bam and let's see goldie right or maybe polished gold yeah golden boy um we can turn do the turntable and let's do an awkward turntable of just the parts that we're we've done no let's not can do it this way Goldie boy. Okay. Um, PP break. PP break time. No, I'm not getting ready. Um. I am making making coffee because apparently I look tired smiley face like um, how, how do you call it? Pass passive aggressive smiley face five minutes right in the middle no no let's do let's do it here no let's do it here let's do it here good enough um yeah be right back be right back enjoy the ads that i'm going to play
Bu. I'm back. I'm back, 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 back. Okay. So, uh, pretty view of back to shade it. Turn off the nonsense and continue on with the boring stuff. Yeah. I guess we lost all of the viewers. No, we didn't. What the hell did you guys? What? Why? Why did we gain viewers while I was away? That's just wrong. Anyway, we're back. I'm gonna animate this, I think. I'm gonna animate the, the this little guy walking or something like that. Or, or maybe we'll just pose, pose, pose him in some way. Still have no idea how to do that. We'll figure it out. Definitely in Blender though, not in Rhino. But that's in the far future. And by far, I mean like next week, <laughs> something like that. Um, for now, we are still detailing it and sharpening it up. So all of this, all of this, all of this needs to be sharpened, huh? How far can we push this? I guess until, until this edge, right? Yep. Needs to go until that edge. Like that. Great. And then this goes until that edge. Like that. And then all we need to do... Or maybe... No. Mm. Actually needs to... It needs to also fit here. But that's going to make this into a pentagon. I'm okay with that. So this. Uh, let me just save the selection. Uh, uh, just to... To be able to go back uh, if, if I mess it up. Bevel. 0 0.5. This one it will need to be smaller. Uh, like that. <clears throat> Kinda works. Uh, except for this pentagon, of course. The pentagon doesn't work, but... We will just simply... Bridge. Like that. And create a beautiful 3D face. Like that. Join it up. Tab it. Wonderful. Nice little bend we have there. Okay, then this, this, and also... Wait, this is not protected. Oh, we're reaching the, the area where we didn't, didn't do the plating. Interesting, interesting, interesting. So we can't really do anything there, but we can do stuff here. That's gonna be good enough. Bevel. Good. And here I don't even need to look at it in a... Or maybe I do. No, I don't. Because I know what I'm doing. Okay. That's fine. That's gonna be taken care of. Now this, this area. So this definitely needs attention. As well as this. And I think the way we are going to deal with this whole area is that I need... Uh, yikes. Um, I need this whole ribbon or loop. 
to work together. And we go until here. Like that. Bevel. 0 0.5. Tab. Strong break. Strong break happening here. Then this is easy. This is somewhat easy. As long as I manage to select things. And then this. Um, do we do the... Uh, what am I selecting? Oh, the arm. Sifu says hello. And I say hello back to Sifu. Um, that's a little bit of an awkward area. Because I want this to... I think we can do it this this way actually bevel like that I mean it, it messes up here a bit but oh and it messes up here not by a bit by a lot um, does that mean that here for this face I need to Inset. Inset it like that. No, it still messes up. Okay. What if we extrude this face? Oh, I think I know. Undo that. Okay, so this needs a little bit more love. Um, inset it here. Just something like that. Extrude it in. Inset it again. Like that. And then... Do this. Mm-hmm. Bevel. 0.5. Tab. Perfect. A perfect bend. And of course now uh, we made ourselves a few more problems that we will need to solve. But that is not a problem. Well, uh, it's less of a problem. Like that. Perfect. And then here, I think here we just do a regular bevel. Ah. Oh, shit. We don't do a regular bevel. Why does it want to move so much? Is it because of this? Yeah, it's because of that, isn't it? Yikes. Um, how to solve this? Will this also create the same problem? Yes, it does. Okay. So we can't have that point. That point is a no-go. Which tells me that if I do something like this, maybe that is going to be a good way of doing it. It actually is. Okay, so undo, undo, and let's try again. But this time go in here. Uh, not until there. Level that. Okay, so that is fixed. That means that this is gonna be fixed as well. Okay. Nice. Nice. 
Yee boy, what if I want to model something in crunchy mode? The hell is a crunchy mode? <laughs> and keep that low poly typology, what can I do? The flat mode, you mean? Um, you do um, crease. Check this out. Um, oh no, I want uh, this area to stay crunchy. So I select it and I crease the area. And then once I hit tab, let's look at it in the Arctic view. This stays crunchy while everything else is softened. So the tool that you wanna use is called crease. Okay, um, enough of tutorials, let's move on. Do we do anything with the chest part? Yes, we do. This needs to be inset. Uh, group, yes, one, yes, extrude. Extrude it by hand. Inset again. Group, yes, one, yes. Habit, looks bad, doesn't matter. We'll make it look good. That, that, and that. With their respected um inner edges or not inner but the in moved in edges um bevel that uh yes i am going to 3d print this it's gonna look awesome or not we don't know but i am i'm going to try <clears throat> to 3d print this We'll see how it's gonna look like. No promises. Might look cool, might look real bad. Not sure. Okay, that's good. So all of this area is fixed. Then we are left with this area. Tab. That is also fixed. Oh. This little guy is... It needs a little bit more love. And that's what we're gonna give it. Like that, like that, and like that. Bevel this. 0 0.3, actually. And now that is done. Damn, I like three point and four point connections. <clears throat> Those always work out nice. Okay. Reflect, Y axis, enter, reflect, off. E map something a little bit less intense arches <laughs> yeah that's a little bit less intense sure uh true sphere uh no uh burst gold fl fluorescent tube That tells me absolutely nothing, honestly. <laughs> that tells me nothing. Arches does a much better thing. Uh, has a much better look. Go to Arctic view. Okay. Starting to get a little bit of definition in. Starting to look okay. So we've done this. We've done the pants and we've done the the stomach area, I guess, or the back area. I think 
I will call it for today. I don't know. Is there something else that I should do before I finish? We have like 10 minutes. If you want to ask me something, ask me something. But you probably don't want to ask me anything because chat is a little bit dead today. I guess it's Friday evening. Everyone's kind of chilling. <sighs> I'm also chilling. But I'm not tired. You're tired. Um, the face is going to be fun. The face is definitely going to be fun. Because the face is going to have... Um, let me show you. The face is going to have a lot of divisions. So that's going to be fun to do. Also, we'll need to work on the... The sharpening of it. Why do you choose Rhino over Blender? For this or in general? If it's for this, then because I like to hurt myself. Um, you should do this kind of work in Blender, not in Rhino. Um, in general, I choose Rhino because I'm an architect and doing architecture in Blender would be an equivalent of doing this what I'm doing right now in Rhino. Blender is not suitable for architecture. Why many lines uh, fuck up speed in Rhino when making drawings and high show lags like hell? Um, because Rhino is poorly optimized in that regard. Yeah, there's no, no real... Um, no real way of how to solve it. Rhino is just... What's the hose for? The hose is for... This hose, right? Bam. The hose is for... Uh, the the sub stability of the sculpture. Of the figurine. Because if we don't have the hose, and if it's not going to be connected here somehow, um, then we will just have, you know, a figurine that looks like this. Uh, it's not going to stand up there's no way that you know it's gonna stand on 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 the on these stilts by the way do you like the stilts i spend a little bit of time off stream modeling them out they have a little bit of a platform here and they have a little bit of a thickening here let's e map it so that it looks nice All right a little bit of a of a fattening situation here <laughs> and Dyson 2030. True. <laughs> the vacuum bunny. Um, so yeah, for, for, for stability reasons. Has my posture though. Same, same, same back problems as I have. Cool. Um... By the way, um, the, the, the host part, uh, I'm pretty happy with the script that I made. I want to show it to you. Because um, it's a script that does the hose, right? This is the script, the, the grasshopper script. So you do any kind of a curve. Let's just do a simple one for now. Something like this. Maybe smaller though. And you just hang it anywhere let's hang it up pretty high up like that i wonder if it's gonna crash though if if we don't let it finish we'll see uh set one curve we set it we preview it hello we preview it and there's the there's our little little o's uh that's hanging right because it needs to reach the floor. So if we push it down, it recalculates, and now it's laying on the floor. And then if we do something like this, it's gonna crumble to pieces a little bit in a, in, in a weird way, right? So if you tie, uh, tie it into a knot, let's do... Let's do something real, real quick. 
like that and maybe one more like that something like this and just make you need to make sure that it's not intersecting like that uh, these four points need to go a little bit down like that and these two points need to go even further down like that so if if you have something like this or uh, maybe that's that's uh, going to be a bit boring let's do it this way a bit higher up and then this area moves down yeah something like this if you have it like so you move it up 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 set one curve Blop. plops it in place <laughs> It's fun. It's very fun. And of course you have like different values for, for cha changing the step size and the inner diameter and so on. And it's all sub D and all of that good stuff. So that's a nice tool. Um, pretty happy with it. Probably will do a tutorial on it sometime. Uh, we'll We'll give it to the Patreon supporters for free. A range on curve wouldn't be the same, but I don't think so. Because you always want to have the same step size. So if you arrange on curve, it's going to follow the stretch, stretched sorry parameters of the curve. Right, so if the distance between two control points is far, then your segments are going to be elongated. If it's short, they're going to be kind of very densely packed. And also, um, the, 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 the simulation part is... Like the, the, the whole... Make it into... How do you call it? A hose uh, part, make it into a mesh is, is simple. The, the the harder one is the actual grasshopper, uh, sorry, kangaroo simulation. Uh, that's the tricky one. Anyway, um, that's that. But that's gonna come in later. The hell is a bow, bow hitch? Wait, when I, when I Google that. Um, bo oh 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 that I assume it's that no I'm not gonna make that that's uh, <laughs> too much work <laughs> that's way way too much work um tomorrow I'm streaming again um I don't know when. Once once I'm ready, I'm ready. I'm I'm, I'm gonna stream. Uh, it's the most useful knot. Well, you seem to be very into knots. No, I've got nothing. I I was trying to think of a joke. I've got nothing. Something something knots. Slip knot. Uh, metal head. Uh, make fun of your music style. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, enough of me blabbing. I, I want to go and eat. Um, tomorrow, some sometime around midday, Swedish time. Does the script check for not intersecting pipes? Yeah, oh, well, not intersecting pipes. That the pipes are uh, not gonna self-intersect? Yes, it does. Because you can see here. Um, it does the thing. Right? It falls down. Like that. 
Um, so they're not intersecting. Um, they're just laying flat on each other. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Bye. <laughs> bye. Stop it. Stop it. Tomorrow. Tomorrow we continue. Bye. Bye, everyone.